Noise department. Ah! The earth gives grotesque and terrible birth to a monstrous creature. Dunzo. I believe it's human. Already many of the mutants disguised as human beings are walking the streets of Earth City. The Big Dumb Show. Corrupt and immoral. Oh yeah. Good morning, Gonzo's me. There's Don Stuck, Bo Asner over there on the uh, news desk, the uh, Big Dumb Show, and our guest comedian, Tammy Pescatelli. Yes. Hey, Tammy. Hey, good morning, everybody. Hi, how are you? I'm good, thank you. Hi, Tammy. You, you sure are. Hi. Um, Hi. Nice top. Thank you. Look at, Bo looks over at me and looks down. Look, <laughs> I had noticed. Wow. Oh, 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 yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Those are served up all nice this morning. That's real pretty. Thank, thank you. Thank you so much. You sure is pretty. <laughs> you guys. We're a little bit in the South, just a little bit. Uh, yeah. You know what I say about the South? Uh-huh. What hillbillies it? scare me because a gang member may kill you, but a hillbilly will keep you. <laughs> That's right. In a box underneath his bed. Yeah. You know what I mean? uh-huh. <laughs> well, I'm glad you're back. Hey, what have you been doing? What, what's new with you? Oh, Lord. I went over to Kuwait. Really? I went to entertain the troops over to Kuwait and Baghdad. No, you did that on purpose. You didn't think you were going to Kauai. No, and, but, yeah. wait, that's kind of how they tricked me, though. Right, they yeah. go, uh, you want to go to Asia? <laughs> Asia. And cool. I said, yeah. sure. Right, yeah. You know, you're thinking, what do you think of when you think yeah. of Asia? Hong Kong? You know, I'm yeah. such an idiot. Yeah. I'm yeah. like Sacagawea with MapQuest. I should have <laughs> <laughs> All right. And then, uh, you know, we went over there and... People go, how come you can't find Saddam Hussein? And I'm like, because all of them bastards look like Saddam Hussein. <laughs> oh, yeah. I must have seen him 52 times. There he goes. There he goes. Yeah, it's, uh, you see that deck of cards. Here he is. Here he is. Here he is. Yeah. They're all the same. There's one chick in there, and the rest of them saw him. <laughs> and the chicks, they're covered in their burqas. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know, and that doesn't that look pure, right? Oh, yeah. Like from a, I mean, kind of. Doesn't it look pure? Because they don't look like. Sure. And you look down. I swear to you, this is something you don't see on TV. They have on big hooker shoes. <laughs> Big, clear, <laughs> really? stripper, elevated, With hooker a, shoes. They do? Like big old 70s disco shoes. Yeah, because... <laughs> With a goldfish in yeah, it. Yeah. <laughs> that's all they're allowed to wear that would be sexy that would be seen in public. So that's... It's like a big foot thing over See, there. See, yeah, oh. chicks wear their shoes. It's universal. It's global. Yeah. You know, yeah. they're crazy for the shoes. Did it's you have to wear any special clothing because no. you're a woman? No. No, I didn't have to because Kuwait's a pretty western area. And then when we went yeah. to Baghdad, we were under military escort. But it was amazing because we'd go in public... Mm. And what they're not used to is a woman with all men. And it was me and always like, you know, there were two other comics. There was a rapper. There were bodyguards. Your there were harem. tour managers. <laughs> and yeah. literally, they would look at me and try to figure it out. So by the end of it, I hated everybody. I hated all the people in the Middle East. So I was just trying to cause problems. I was like, all of my husbands. <laughs> <laughs> look at that. Look at, there goes the queen of Italy. <laughs> <I know. laughs> That's so funny. That's funny. I call my cousin the queen of Italy. Really? Yeah, really? Funny. You're psychic. Yeah. Yeah. So you made it back safely, and now, I did. So now, how it must take like a thousand stops to get there. I mean, the no. Tri- we guess really? where we stopped. Well, ATA straight there. through LAX, <laughs> right? To Amsterdam. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Wow. There's debauchery in uh, public. Yeah. <laughs> I'm surprised you made it over there. Yeah, yeah and then from it, well. It was the place I wanted to... On the way home, mm. they, we were allowed... We could have stayed in Amsterdam for a couple of days, but yeah. I never wanted to see the United States of America so <laughs> yeah, much uh-huh. as I did. It was awful yeah. over there. Uh-huh. It's really... So put your flags back up because we're still at war. <laughs> yeah. I'm so sick of people not having their flags up no. and... When we now all of a sudden, you know, they'll put up their little NASCAR flags. Oh, yeah. You want to start a civil war. <laughs> You're right about that. Yeah, you want to start a civil war. I was down in Chattanooga and I said, NASCAR isn't a sport. You said oh what? My I God. know. <laughs> Forget it. Alive. I learned. I learned. <laughs> right, I know my mistakes. Uh huh. I mean, that's you know, we have very few rules on this program, right? Uh, and we can we can make fun and poke fun at, at anybody all Anything. the way up to the top, right up to 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 the big JC, the guy with the sandals. Oh, he doesn't mind. That guy. The guy who on Venice Beach who Goops, yeah that guy. nips and <laughs> wops and everything that's all good but you'd say anything about stupid Dale Jarrett you oh, got oh you got trouble. just the it. Queen Gordon uh-huh. oh yeah. my god boy then you got yeah. trouble yeah isn't that crazy it's nuts but so you you escaped that okay yeah because well, I just it was, I just pled ignorance right and it's Chattanooga they know all about ignorance <laughs> <laughs> oh I got you I see what you're saying now <laughs> you're you're calling us stupid that's okay <laughs> New Jersey's perfect. <laughs> Going to help me shoe these horses. Tammy Pescatelli is here. Hey, yeah. Tammy. Hey, thank you.
Thanks. Thanks for being here. Tam, and you know what? I said this before, and I mean it. I am glad you're here because I think you can help us with something that, that we're working on on the show here. Uh-oh. And we haven't really got an answer out of Bo yet. Don, have you noticed this yet? What's what? Are we going to put on? him in that penis pump? <laughs> ah, you going in the you, penis pump? No, no, no. It has nothing to do with the penis pump. No, I wasn't going to uh, even bring up the penis pump. Don't uh. you always get those emails, enlarge your penis. I'm like, I'm a girl. Yeah. <laughs> the yeah. only thing I can enlarge my penis is to break up with my boyfriend. <laughs> that was, that's, that's the most simple thing I can do. That would enlarge the hell so, out of it. All right. So, <laughs> no surgery. Well, how can I help you? So, Tammy, if uh, you were on Planet of the Apes, uh, now it's different. <laughs> no, hold on. Wait what? a second. It keeps it changing. It no, no, no. It, it hasn't changed one day. Give it to me the original way, then. Okay. Fine. It, well, no, that is the original no, it's way. Not. If you go back and listen to the tape, Don't listen to play, Bo. I'll play the tape. If you go back and listen to Roll the, the tape. Roll the tape, Bolly. <laughs> yeah. Don't listen to Bo. Okay, Don, it, what, what, is, what is the question? Bo, if we had a real live monkey woman, just like the one in the Planet of the Apes, the uh, new one, uh-huh. yeah. would you have sex with her? <laughs> Are you kidding? That looks like half my relatives from Italy. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> Me too. All my cousins. So uh-huh. let's do it. <laughs> the first go round. When we first started this a couple days ago, it was, uh-huh. would you have sex with a real live monkey woman? Mm-hmm. And then I said, no, it's bestiality. And no, you said, you no, said, no, you said, no, it's no. different because she's hot. <laughs> And then I said, "Does it talk?" And you're like, "No, nah. it's a it's a monkey no, it's woman." A, no, no, no. Then it no, changed no, to no, yes, no, yes. No. If you listen to the tape, that's where you're wrong. Look, dumbass. <laughs> I had to edit that no, tape no, yesterday. No, I know what it said. No, I well, know. Listen, I I'll tell you what. Here's where I'll help you. In the first way, if it if the thing doesn't talk, if it's it's actually a monkey, like a gorilla, mm-hmm. a monkey woman. <laughs> But there's no such thing, so you have yeah, to clear it up. If there oh, yeah. were, the there was. Thing. Right, right. Would I? Well, that's like asking me, would I have sex with a slee stack from Land of the Lost? Well, would you? There's, I'll sure. tell you what. I would have. Would I? Here's how you can draw the line. I wouldn't have sex with those guys from the Discovery Channel with the hairy faces. Oh, oh, have like, you ever seen the Wolfman Boys? The kind of Neanderthal, oh, yeah. oh, kind the of one dude. Yeah. yeah. What about Bat Boy? From the uh, Weekly World News. Bad boy. Yeah. With him? Are you out of your mind? Yeah, he's got his own show on Broadway now. Uh-huh. Good for him. And he's helping the troops. He's fighting in oh, Iraq. Uh-huh. Wait, I see what you're saying, though, about... Mm-hmm. But see, I'm not that girl. But there are women that would have sex with him because right. I was actually, since I've been here, I told you, I think I told you guys the one time I went and did the charity event for the Playboy Foundation, right? Yeah. Well, now I'm like the regular comic. Mm-hmm. So I, I did another one this year. Yeah. And uh, I, afterwards, I went to the party. And this time I was expecting weird stuff to happen like I got cornered by Donald Trump who wanted to talk to me for like 20 minutes but really? you know how like you're just no matter how far you go in your career I'm still a 12 year old boy in my head yeah. and I can't focus on it like his hair is so <laughs> jacked up you know yeah. like it'd be yeah. less distracting if he hired a hairy midget to sit on his head like, that's you a know, good idea I mean, it's, it's so uh, it's so ugly and awful it's like pink cotton candy I'm like how rich do you have to be when your friends stop telling you dude Dude, your hair yeah. is Dude, jacked you got, up. You got a it's, thing. Uh, yeah. thing you look at, uh, <laughs> it's all yes men. They won't tell him. Yeah, uh-huh. they You won't. look fabulous. Because you want to ride in the G4. What are you, stupid? <laughs> yeah. yeah. And so, but while we were there, now talk about Bat Boy getting mm-hmm. chicks. Mm-hmm. Uh, some I stayed a little bit too long, mm. and and if you stay too long at the Playboy Mansion, you might see some weird things. Right, and yeah. and a lot of you guys would probably want to see them. <laughs> this was something I'll never get off my mind, so I have to share with everybody. It's like the dead baby in Titanic. I ha- I actually saw Minnie Me getting a Lewinsky from his girlfriend, who happened to be a, a playmate. Tall. The really tall girl. Yeah. 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 And and I'm like, do you think she actually moved to Hollywood for that? When she was homecoming queen, do you think that was her idea to go give oral to a midget? That was her lifelong goal. Mini me. I've made it. Yeah. You know what I mean? Well, she's in the Playboy Mansion. It was like a a train wreck. You you saw it and you, I couldn't look away. Mm -hmm. I would never want to see that on a regular basis, but it's not something you see. Yeah. Did we... Did we did did we get a look at? I knew. <laughs> no, you Does can't. Does he need the penis pump? Uh, Does he need the penis pump? No, how, how can you see? Do you understand Mm-mm. that she has so much silicone that she eclipses? <laughs> right. Uh, yeah. You know, I mean, Damn. it's just like I, I couldn't. 
First of all, you can't, I couldn't believe that that was happening in sure. public anyway. Right. Okay, so it could have been full-size people, and you're like, mm-hmm. what the hell's wrong with these mm-hmm. people? Right. Mm-hmm. Number two, <laughs> you see this, and you just... This isn't the house of smut. It's you know, the Playboy this Mansion. This is a mansion. Get out of here. <laughs> yeah, and you're just like... And you go... I mean, this is not what... Is this the level that women will sink to? I mean, really the level, the level that you have to sink to. She's really down there. I'm like, yeah. what do you... What do you... Is this... So it just goes to show, fellas, that if you get money, you get laid. See? That's all oh, yeah. you need to know. Yeah. It doesn't matter sure. what you look like, uh-huh. what you... It's just get you know. some money and you get laid. They, well, God. I'm sure that uh, she respects Vern Troyer, Minnie Me, for his talent. Oh, I'm sure she loves him for who he is. Yeah. Yes, I'm, I'm sure. A <laughs> <laughs> Let's just say that I'm sure if I did the thumbs up sign, I'd probably be bigger. <laughs> hey, hey, Vern. Tammy <laughs> 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 Pescatelli, our guest I on the. I should probably leave in that <laughs> note. <laughs> it is very important to play the record over and over, over, and over. because you learn by listening. It's time for music. Done so. I'm talking too much. Over yeah. By Damn it. Do it. Oh, yeah. You hear me? Well, I have a microphone, and you don't. Oh, this is bad. Gonzo Greg and the Big Dumb Show. Indies Morning Alternative. <laughs> Only on X103. X103, Indies New Rock Alternative. Gonzo Greg along with the uh, Big Dumb Show. There's Bo Asner up there on the news desk. Uh-huh. Don Stuck over here just made a startling discovery. Why? Many people may not know this, but... Using the banjo, it is impossible to play the Gilligan's Island theme song. Oh, I don't know about that! Oh, give it a try. Go ahead. (laughs) (laughs) Well, actually, it's impossible for Don to play anything on the banjo. Is that because that's because of a shortage of strings? Is it not? Uh, it, it can be done. It's just it's not. Uh, if we you're not good enough. Juice, is that what you're saying? You're good. not good it's enough. Really Don't ever <laughs> accuse me of not being able to play banjo. Yeah, no, we want to. You can stop that at any time, and it'll be fine. I mean, that's the X 103s Road Rage Traffic. Coming up, Don Stuck's Hillbilly Hits here. I hope somebody from like Scotland wins. You know, got all these foreigners in town for uh-huh. the big F1 race. Yeah. They have no idea what the hell they're listening to right now. Monkey women and banjos. <laughs> a guy playing a banjo. Uh-huh. Coming up, Don Stuck's Hillbilly Hits. Yeah! Don Stuck Woo! will brutally assault one of your favorite X-103 songs by using his banjo. If you are able to identify the remains after he's done with it, you'll win the fabulous prize package. It's always perfect. You may want to... Refer to dental records. <laughs> Your chance to win is right now if you can identify this stunning hillbilly hit. Yeah. <laughs> wow. You know, if the guy from that band was here right now, he would no. punch you. No, he would appreciate it. If there's right. anybody he that would? would appreciate I think it's him. That's right, Bo. Let's play the game. It is the A Big Dumb Show. Good morning. How you go? I go good. Good. Good for you. Hey, what's your name there, citizen? Josh. What the hell is all that noise? Uh, dumbass is at my work. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, where, where do you work at? Um, at a transmission shop. Do you really? Oh, yeah. Right, right on. You know somebody that needs a tranny, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> Well, I need a transmission. I don't know what you're looking for. Uh, you know, a tranny. <laughs> oh, really? Don't get so personal. <laughs> <laughs> they got one in the back of Nouveau. Uh, anyway, uh, are you ready to play Don Stuck's Hillbilly Hits? I'm ready. All right, here, listen to this. <laughs> uh, what do you suppose that's supposed to be? It's hard, but uh, I'll go with Pearl Jam, Jeremy. Yeah, you are a big winner here at X103! All right, from the end of uh, September 2003, another great visit with Tammy Pescatelli. Always a favorite guest and uh, demonstrated a very impressive ability to tolerate our boundless stupidity. 
You can reconnect with Tammy at her website, pescatelli.com. Thanks, as always, to a couple of guys that actually made oh, fug 30 every morning. A uh, pretty fun time, actually. Bo Asner and Don Stuck. I'm Gonzo Greg. Get to gonzo.fm for all the podcasts and other alleged radio highlights. The Big Dumb Show Flashback Podcast is a production of Noise Department, a boutique audio production house specializing in sound for commercials, web videos, podcasts, and more. Please visit noisedepartment.com.